ReZero Season 3 is officially happening, and the release date is... Not currently known, but I'll update you as soon as it's confirmed. I've been waiting for ReZero Season 3 ever since the day I was born, and now that it's finally happening, I'm just really excited. I don't know how else to describe it, but I'd imagine this is what a female orgasm feels like. This trailer was fucking amazing, like even better than the Season 2 trailer. I'm gonna talk about that, as well as my overall hopes and expectations for Season 3, but I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not gonna tell you if Rem wakes up or if Subaru dies or if Amelia's pregnant still. Let's just analyze everything at face value, like this new visual, for example. As you can see, in Season 3, Subaru and Amelia will gain the ability to walk on water. Just kidding, the water's just a reference to how wet the trailer made me, but look at Subaru's leg in the reflection right here. What's going on there? Is this perhaps the unseen leg? Jokes aside, I can't wait to talk about this trailer, but real quickly I've got an ad to read you first. This video is sponsored by Web Novel, and today we're talking about an anti-hero action story called Shadow Slave. The main character, Sonny, grew up in poverty, struggling just to survive, until he becomes infected by something called the Nightmare Spell. Nobody really knows what the nightmare spell is, but it's some type of dangerous disease that tries to kill you while you're asleep. However, those who learn how to fight and survive the nightmare awaken with extraordinary powers. Be honest, that premise is awesome. The story's packed with immersive world building, detailed power systems, creative combat styles, and a main character who wins battles with strategic methods, unlike other characters who just swing their sword once and end the fight in two seconds. There's a lot of great action, especially in the dream realm, so you don't want to miss out on this. Web Novel is the perfect app for both readers and authors. Look at this. You can click on any sentence in the story to share your thoughts about it or see how other people reacted to it. Click my link in this video description right now to start reading Shadow Slave and use the code SHADOWSLAVE41 for discounts on premium content. Thanks again to Web Novel for sponsoring this video. Alright, so what does this ReZero Season 3 trailer show us? First off, bird ahead. White birds are only shown in ReZero during moments of peace or during essential turning points in the plot, like Season 1, Episode 18, the From Zero moment. But the white bird in this trailer fucking explodes, raining down feathers that turn black. There's probably some much deeper symbolism here, but I think it basically means some shit's about to go down. Another good indication of that is the burning city in the background. <laughs> this trailer is actually pretty straightforward. It's so refreshing to finally see all the forgotten season 1 characters again though. Remember the royal selection candidates? Yeah, apparently they still exist. And just the fact that Reinhardt's here should be more than enough to hype you up. Maybe he'll even do something this season. The point is, every character in ReZero has their own storyline progressing at the same time as the main story, so it's gonna be interesting to find out what's been going on in the rest of the world while we were busy jerking off in the sanctuary for 25 episodes. Luckily Reinhardt's here because with all these new villains we're probably gonna fucking need him. This is obviously Lai Batankaitos, the Archbishop of Gluttony. You guys didn't forget about him, did you? And of course, my favorite Archbishop, Regulus. Last time we saw this guy, he was throwing a temper tantrum and Pandora had to put him in timeout, but now he's back and I bet you his rights are being violated once again. This one is a new villain who appears to be wrapped up in toilet paper. Could she be the Witch of Poop? Or maybe Elsa survived and she's just injured so they wrapped her in bandages? Alright, I'm kidding. Elsa's dead, guys. This isn't Elsa. I'm sorry. I'll stop making jokes now. Let's be serious. I gotta admit, the cameraman who filmed this trailer totally hooked us up with this angle. With Elsa gone, we did need a new pair of thighs to look at, but who is this mystery woman? Could she be a MILF? Or is she a lolly? Perhaps both? Right now, she's just a pair of thighs, but with the power of imagination, she can be anything you want. Or you could just check the new visual and see exactly what she looks like. Yep, another lolly. We do get a quick view of their faces in the trailer, but I think the important question is, what are they? Well, they look evil, and they're hanging out with two Synarch bishops of the witch cult. So who do you think they are? The IRS? Did Reinhardt commit tax fraud? Do taxes count as projectiles? Maybe the IRS teamed up with the witch cult to finally lock him up once and for all. No, these are clearly some new archbishops we've never seen before, so let's narrow it down. We already know greed, gluttony, and sloth, but 
but we don't know wrath or lust. Pride is unknown, but according to Betelgeuse, the seat is vacant, which means whoever Pride is isn't affiliated with the witch cult. Envy is still Satella's because she never died, and similarly, Vainglory still belongs to Pandora. Last but not least, Melancholy is unknown, I guess. There's a lot of credible theories regarding these unknown witch factors, but this is everything the anime has confirmed at the moment, so let me know what you guys think. This trailer was absolutely fucking beautiful, and it's definitely the best trailer ReZero's ever had. The music was amazing, I think we all know who composed it, and the animation and art style were exactly what I've been hoping for as well. But in case anyone isn't hyped enough yet, let me just tell you what we should expect from this new season, other than peak fiction, obviously. ReZero's fight scenes have always been pretty short and sweet, but I'll put it this way, the animators are going to be working their asses off during arc 5. Also compared to the previous arcs, it won't have quite as many new character introductions, meaning we'll have more time to spend with the characters we already know. Arc 6 is going to be a roller coaster, and Illidan was right, you are not prepared. This arc has the scariest, most horrific shit in the entirety of ReZero. It's one of my favorite arcs though, and if you don't know what the arcs mean, arc 1 was the introduction to the story, Arc 2 was the mansion murder mystery, Arc 3 was Battle Goose and a big whale, Arc 4 was the one with best girl, Arc 5 is a Fortnite tournament, and Arc 6 is like you're tripping acid during an earthquake. But let's address the elephant in the room this guy. Nobody invited Arc 6, but it showed up to the party anyway, and now people are scared. There's been no announcement regarding how many episodes Season 3 will be, but both Seasons 1 and 2 were 25 episodes each, so if Season 3 is also 25 episodes, then we might want to panic a lot. I'll put it like this. Subaru is a perfect fit for Amelia. He fits right in with no trouble. And Julius is also a perfect fit for Amelia. However, I don't think Amelia could fit both both Subaru and Julius inside her at the same time. There's just not enough room in here. So if you tried to forcefully cram both of them inside her, Amelia might get injured in the process. Do you get what I'm saying, White Fox? A proper adaptation of Arc 5 would require about 16 episodes at least, and Arc 6 would need closer to 20. I've heard rumors that this is a 50 episode season, which I agree would be wonderful, but if you ask anyone for the source, it turns out they made it the fuck up. I've also seen theories that Season 3 will adapt Arc 5 and only half of Arc 6, but that can be disproven right now. I won't say who, but one of the new characters in this visual doesn't appear in the story until the very end of Arc 6, meaning they're adapting all of it. Naturally, a lot of people are afraid White Fox is going to ruin their favorite anime by rushing the story, but honestly, I'm not stressing at all. I have faith in White Fox, or whoever made this amazing trailer, so I'm just going to let them cook. If the new trailer was bad, then maybe I would have started panicking too, but I don't think we have anything to worry about. Season 3 is coming, so we should be as well. There's no reason to panic, guys. Let's be excited instead. Anyway, I'm really happy my favorite anime is returning. Most of you know me for my seasonal videos now, but I originated as a ReZero only YouTube channel. Even the name of my channel is a reference to a ReZero character. My audience has changed a lot since then though. I don't know how many of my new subscribers even watched ReZero, but I'd like to cover Season 3 on a weekly basis if enough of my audience would find that interesting. Just let me know. Thanks everyone for watching though, and I haven't said this in a while, but keep talking about ReZero. Peace out.